Hello. Hello, everybody. So, I actually just have a quick word when um share with y'all today. Um, I actually just finished the first book in my Bible study, which was Isaiah. So that was really exciting. Um. I was going to go ahead and move on to the next book, which is Job. But I just was like, I have not posted. I have not shared with... I have not shared anything with you guys. And therefore, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and share something on here. Um, Yeah. So, um, and basically, like, the conclusion that I got from the was there was the people, they needed to repent, right? They needed to repent. The Lord wanted, um to be in intimate relationship with these people and it was a pain God's heart um but eventually at the end of it all um God got the glory even when it came down to these people like certain people um trying to raise up against God you know God is I was just telling my I was just telling my man that you know God is everything the enemy is void so there is no way that God cannot win um there is no nothing can come against God um yeah God is love what is life without that right um you know you see that even you talk to a dropper of water or to a plant with hatred and you see what happens to it um so really what it all came down to, what I've seen in Isaiah, was that those that really thought that they were going to um, be able to defy the loss that have already been set in the universe such as just the laws of life just the laws of um good versus evil like no weapon formed prospered that was the theme of it that was what I collected out of my studying in this book um, and, yeah, um, basically, towards the end, there were two that really stood out to me, there were two verses in, or two chapters, yeah, chapters, um, so the one chapter was 58. 58 talked about how these people thought that they're like, this is a theme we see so much, but these people thought that their pride was going to declare them God's people, um, which is really what God's saying, kicked out of heaven. Um, and then 
after that was 64 or 65 i'm sorry um and 65 talked about how these people really thought they had it they really did they really thought that It is just it's really crazy. I guess it just takes me back to when someone once told me about the reprobate mind and how like delusions, you know? Literally delusions. Um Yeah. So it says in on sixty six four says I will also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when I called none did answer when I spake they did not hear but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not so that's what sixty six four says in Isaiah. Um, and it's clearly is saying how God is, God is clearly, um, saying, where did you think this evil was going to go? Um, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically falling because of their pride. And that is crazy to me because it's just when you go through so much persecution, when you go through so much of being cast out, being mocked, and when the Lord... um brings you into that season of harvest it really just hits different really is like well god you didn't you really did not forsake me um oh so i just opened to psalm 103 Um, well, 103 and 104 are right here, but 103, I just looked at the verses, excuse me, really a different, so I'm going to just read 103. A Psalm of David, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O my soul. And forgive not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things. So that thy youth is renewed like an eagles, like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. <coughs> he made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous, plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Sorry, you guys. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust, 
As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. Flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto his children's children. To such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them, the Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Um, sorry, you guys. I had a phone call. I have, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to call back real quick because I'm almost done. Um, bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom will live over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul. So I'm going to read the last part again. For the wind passeth over it and it is gone. And the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. Upon them that fear him. And his righteousness unto his children's children. To such as keep his covenant. And to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom <coughs> ruleth over all. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens. And his kingdom ruleth over all. That verse right there, child. That. That verse different 103 19 the lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruled over all you know so i'm gonna go back one more time like as a father pitieth his children so the lord pitieth them that, pity, that fear him for he knoweth our frame he remembereth that we are dust as for man his days are as grass as a flower of the field so he flourisheth the wind passeth over it and it is gone and the place thereof shall know it no more but the mercy of the lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them the lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens and his kingdom ruleth over all bless the lord ye his angels then excel that excel in his strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Okay, you guys, that just, that really spoke volumes. Um, 104 seems significant as well. Um, but 103, that really was just, yeah. Um, 104 looks like there's some good scripture in there too, though. But... 103 you guys that was psalm 103 um and it really just spoke volumes um 
but really what I just want to, what I feel just, that was just confirmation for, was that God is good. Not only does his mercy endure forever, but God is, God has been good since Alpha, he'll be good since Omega. Okay, unchanging. Okay, I love you guys and stay blessed. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, you guys. So, I did a word, a little word last night. So, I'm just adding one to this real quick. Um, Just because I feel like the word, it was like the, you guys just saying like the longer your harvest is taken it doesn't mean that god has forsaken you it means that the lord has something bigger in store i know that sounds very cliche but the lord was also saying um the attention right attention so when you are getting overwhelming amount of attention from the enemy i'm about to start job so this will be really introductive type of in exciting word as well but um and i may not be posting every single day but it's just like with coming with maturity so basically it's um you know getting that attention from the enemy like job was getting right he was getting so much attention from the enemy that he did not ask for when it comes down to this just it really takes praying for wisdom okay in jesus name um wisdom and discernment um you know can be your can be a blessing that the lord bestows upon you so real quick with this word i'm going to um you know we're gonna obviously put some sh we're going to obviously match this up with some scripture and Hey, I'm gonna watch a movie. All right, good. I'm almost done. So, you guys. So, this attention, right? Like I said, I'm getting into Job. I just opened a Job, actually. Um, but to go ahead and just. Um, really confirm what the Lord is sharing through Holy Spirit I'm going to go ahead and share the scripture with you guys so we're here on the last page of Proverbs um, and yeah so the attention that you get from the enemy right um, mm, so we would open to this so as you can see I am like in a more busy place so it did take some focusing right but god says stop you know god god doesn't care about the image because god knows like god is right the truth the life and the way right that's jesus right so we open to proverbs 31 automatically i think about what has been going through my mind about this and yet the, yet the woman is praised in here, right? Yet her family um, is so grateful for her. But can we talk about that humility? Can we talk about not letting, not getting in your own, right? Like not, not letting it all go to your head. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about waiting for a harvest and how so many can't do that nowadays? How so many are so, um, have terrible attention spans, first of all. But second of all, just let things go to their head. How did Satan get kicked out of heaven, right? So let's just talk about it. Let's talk about the humility, right? When we do honor one each other, one another. Okay, when we do honor one another in Christ. Sorry, I do. I know I look a little bit crazy. That's why I have the. Um, I got on Snapchat here, but the little filter. But basically, you guys, you know, not letting this go to our heads um and so 
this one verse sticks out to me many daughters have done virtuously but thou excellest them all but can we talk about how this is still in the bible how this is still meant to glorify god can we talk about that because what happens when a nation thinks that they can handle it on their own what happens and i'm not saying this on any on any talking about anything today i'm talking about real principles that christians should know right what happens when what happens when god is taken out of the equation you see so much um feeling alone so much anxiety so much nervousness nowadays and we're wondering why is this a thing right when you try to take and make your own equation and take god's equation away it just won't work um and i wouldn't even say equation but a puzzle right like we have to understand that there is no way around it like i was just hearing something the other day there is no shortcuts there is no shortcuts when it comes to having relationship with god right there is no shortcuts there are no shortcuts you have to spend time with the lord in order to know the lord you can't just say like oh we have a relationship because we had this that and the third 